What is up guys, Soda here from Thick Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get your carpets looking from this to this. So before we get started, we want to make sure we thoroughly vacuum the area. And I'm going to use my rigid shop vac right here. So now that we got it all vacuumed out, the next step is I filled a bucket here with some Dawn soap and I have two brushes. I have one of these scrub brushes and then I have one of these small ones for the little corners and stuff that you can't get with this big one. We're gonna go ahead and scrub the whole area and then I'm gonna show you the next trick. And don't be afraid to get some soap on here. You wanna get this saturated a good amount. Not too much, not too crazy, but enough to see, see how it's starting to foam up here little corners that you can't get with the big one grab your small one Plastic too while I'm doing the carpet. Just clean it up, make it look new. All right, guys. So now that we saturated all the carpet with the Dawn uh, detergent and some water, I'm gonna let it soak in for about five minutes. Believe it or not, I'm gonna use scrubbing bubbles. I'm gonna coat it really good. I'm gonna let it sit for another five minutes, and then I'm gonna go back with my scrub brush and work it in even more. I'm even gonna get my vinyl with it right here, tailgate. So I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do one section at a time. I don't wanna get ahead of myself because then the product will just dry. So now that it's had a chance to sit for about three, five minutes, I'm gonna go back with my brush and also have a microfiber as well that I'm gonna use. And take your microfiber and work it in a little bit more, get in all the hard reach places. You can do your vinyl while you're here. Clean it up. Just make sure you go back with some protectant. You want to wring it out. You can see how that water is getting really dirty. If there's any spots that you see need to hit again, I got a little spot right here. Just gonna hit it with some scrubbing bubbles again. And let it work in a little bit longer. Not only does it work good, it smells good too.
So now that we're finished with that, we're going to go back with our shop vac and we're going to get all the water that we can out of the carpets. Focus on one area and get as much water out as you can. All right, so I got everything scrubbed down with the scrubbing bubbles and the brush. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. But real quick, over to my BMW. When I detail my engine, I use that same scrubbing bubbles on my engine compartment. All the metal painted surfaces, uh, the bare metal, my calipers. Uh, it cleans them up really good. And I'll wipe it all down and then hit it with the, all the plastic. I'll hit with the VRP by Chemical Guys. That stuff works great. All right guys, so now that we got it, somewhat dry. I'm gonna go back with my scrub brush and create lines. You can make it this way, long ways, if you want some big stripes, or you can do it this way if you want some little stripes. I'm gonna try it like this, see what it looks like. spot right here I'm gonna hit it again get that out but overall man that looks 100 times better than it did before so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the spot again I'm just gonna put the scrubbing bubbles directly on my brush here and I'm just gonna work this area a little bit more go back with my microfiber now let me fix my lines again Lines were a little crooked, but it looked good now. It looks so much better than it did. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button for me, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video.